Bitcoin is not ready yet, but check this as soon as possible. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video. Welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Lili. In today's video, of course, talking about the news, I have great news from Argentina. Yes, also looking into the charts and, of course, an uh, inspirational quote to end the video. Short but powerful video as I don't have too much time today. It's really busy for me at the moment with trading bambam.me. Yes, Didi bambam.me. Uh, even a song. Soon you will know more, guys. Now, let's quickly jump into the news from Argentina. Bam. In Argentina, they are now experiencing, not experiencing, they are introducing digital IDs built on the blockchain. Guys, yes, built on the blockchain. So now 3.6 million residents of Argentina received a digital ID. An ID that they are full in control of themselves on the blockchain. Self-custodial IDs. This is really the future, guys. This is one of the things that the blockchain will be used for more and more and more to provide all the citizens of the world of digital IDs, not the ones that the, you know, Klaus Schwab uh, group wants to create, like these codes that they can uh, manage, but these digital IDs built on the blockchain. You will be in full control of your own digital ID. And that's exactly what they intend in Argentina. They intend all those 3.6 million people to become full responsible full ownership of their own digital ID. You decide what other people get to see out there. You get all these kinds of security and privacy rights now because you have your own access, your own control on your digital ID. And it looks a little bit like the Palau digital ID that I have. I have a Palau digital ID, why? Because that makes it possible for me to trade on the exchanges that don't allow a Dutch ID or a German ID, or I don't give access to the full potential of an exchange because you're Dutch or German. The Palau ID gives me access to the full potential of all the exchanges worldwide. So by owning a Palau ID, I have way more possibilities in the world. And yes, I'm also able to use it to verify myself as it's an official ID. Now, that's the future. The future is all kinds of digital IDs. And I think in the future, when the world goes open again, we will be able to decide which ID fits the best to us. Do I want the Palau ID or do I want an Argentina ID? Do I want a Dutch ID? Do I want a German ID? Do I want whatever digital ID it is, you will be able to get it in the future. At least that is what I think. That is how it should be. That is how a peaceful, anarchistic, worldwide system should work. We should have full control on our IDs. Where do we want to be part of? Which community, which country, whatever, if it still is countries, maybe it's one big world, maybe we're gonna call this Earth, <laughs> and another one Mars and you know that's another community with other digital IDs we don't know but we all know that the world is going digital and Argentina is leading there now at the moment with their blockchain adoption even high school and university guys are introducing cryptocurrency classes so they're having Ethereum Bitcoin classes to educate the children the power of the blockchain the power of creating your own decentralized future and whatever is possible on these blockchains so Argentina is really cool. It's really leading when it comes to that. And of course, all because Javier Milei, which is a really, really pro-Bitcoin, pro-blockchain president, thinking forward, not thinking traditional, belonging to that 1% of the elite rich countries that have full control on whatever you do as your own country. Javier Milei doesn't want to belong to the United States anymore and all those other countries that they oppress them and keep them poor. He wants to create a beautiful Argentina, and I think he's doing that by introducing Bitcoin, blockchain, and many other assets of this beautiful industry, guys. And don't forget, by doing that, what they are doing now in Argentina, giving you a digital ID, like giving people full privacy and full rights on their own digital ID. So yes, they are laying the foundation for a future where personal data ownership becomes a basic right. And that is exactly what we need. We need our personal data ownership to become a basic right our right we should be in control not any centralized entity that gives our data away sells our data and does all kind of shit with that data and then when we have introduced those digital ids etc guys all over the world believe me then we are ready to take it to the next level voting on the blockchain and when we start to vote on the blockchain that is when the whole political system will be transparent and when no cheating can exist anymore because then everything is registered 
on the blockchain. And we all know the power of the blockchain. You can't change the entries that you did yesterday in a block. They will be there forever. So if you will have voting on the blockchain through a digital ID, completely anonymous, that is a decentralized future I see. Not the ones you heard Klaus Schwab talking about. Klaus Schwab is back. Tschüss. That was the news for today, guys. Now let's quickly jump into the charts to check what is happening to Bitcoin. Short term, mid term, long term. Let's see where we are going to go with Bitcoin. The first chart for today, guys, is this four hour chart again. Look, I told you yesterday that blue line will become support. We are turning the blue line in support at the moment. You can see we wick through the line, but we keep the bodies above that line. I do believe that we will get another pull up like to 72K. I think that's the next run. I think the next run will be from here, going up to that, a little bit down, and then bam, something fly over to that level over there. Something around 72K, which will be the next area of resistance. Uh, we can see on the bottom, still yellow and blue, we can see the red line here on the bottom. We can see this one, the blue line starting to crawl up, but it's not enough volume yet, but soon there will be volume to make that push, I believe, guys. Um, yeah, the more we get to uh, the presidential elections, etc., the more exciting these charts are, the more powerful the move will become, of course, because I do believe Trump will win, and I think it has a very positive effect on uh, the Bitcoin industry as a ripple. And I think it will have a very positive influence on the Bitcoin industry. Zooming out a little bit on the weekly chart, we broke that green line last week, like I told you, with that candle. Now I told you we need to open a new candle above it and stay above it. So this red candle now is still above the level, but we need to keep control around the level of 67,000. The 67,300, if we close above that, we stay above this green line. Of course, it would be more beautiful even if we get a green candle so that we can go to that 72K level. But let's see, we still have four days and 22 hours to close. And we all know that uh, nowadays, mostly during the weekends, we are pretty bullish. So let's see where this ends. But uh, the weekly, for me, looking great. RSI looking great. The MACD looking great as well. Green bars on the bottom. The blue line crossed that red line. So yes, we are exactly where we need to be amazing charts now let's jump into some other charts these over here bam this one is the first one gone with my face this is a very important chart for you guys to understand this is the bitcoin supply and profit at the moment there is 94 percent of the supply and profit on the right top you can see this 94 percent whenever there is a shitload of people in profit the bitcoin price mostly gets a small pullback so too many people in profit Mostly the market turns around like 1, 2, 3K maybe, maybe to 65K, whatever it is, the support level. And there again, less people will be in profit. And then again, we have enough energy to go up again. If you can see, when we go in the bull market top area, the last part of this area, we are above 94%. We are above, we are like 99% to 100% in profit. Every time when we are in the bull cycle top, we are above that line. We were above the line already here when we made a new all-time high. Now we are below the line. We still can go above, and that will happen in 2025, a complete year, to create a new all-time high, guys, a new bull market top. So, cool chart. This chart, also in, uh, important, there is the polarity shift in uh, short-term holders supply to p &L ratio. We can see on the bottom that whenever we are in this purplish area, these are the moments that you should be buying into the dip. Like, these are beautiful dip moments. The green area are the moments that we are topping out in the price. Look, we are topping, we are topping. Even here after this run, look, huge run, topping. So here you should be buying. We should be buying over there. We are going out into this green area. And then the Bitcoin price will go up a little bit and then uh, towards like whatever it is, like uh, 100K or 200K, whatever you think it is, that is where the Bitcoin price will go. And then from there again, we will fall down again to this purple area. That will be the bear market somewhere in 2026, guys. So this move is every time the important move, the bluish move on this chart. That's that bullish move every time. You can see it. Just look at the charts. Every time we go up massively. We are now in the midst of such a move, but we still will go higher, I believe, to this dollar line over there with this green line. And that is when, again, the top will be at around 95K. I think 85 to 95K, that is the area that you should be taking profit at the end of this year before we pull back 
to, uh, for example, 70K in January 2025. That's still what I believe that will happen. Now, in this chart, we can see a little bit more clear how um, it plays out if we look at the chart upside down, guys. Please be aware, it's upside down. Here is zero, there is 140K. That is what they call, I had a shoulder patterns on an inverse chart. So we could also do it on a normal chart and it would be an inverse head and shoulder. Shoulder, head, shoulder. Then the head to the neckline is the target. The target would be 127,000 US dollar, guys. So this is how a head and shoulder pattern normally works. Inverse on a normal chart would also be possible. So please understand, this is the Bitcoin price at 140. This is at 10K. So yes, in the monthly chart, we can see a head and shoulder with a neckline and it has a target of 127,000 US dollar. Great chart by Titan of Crypto. Then we have, of course, the most important chart uh, is the Plan B stock to flow model. Guys, this model is just right on track. It's exactly where it needs to be. Just check how beautifully that is every time playing out. From blue, we go to red. Then after a few reds, we go higher than the blue. Red goes into orange, yellow, and that will be the top, orange to yellow. Blue into red, orange and yellow was the top. Blue into red. There will be a shitload of red dots going up the next 12 months of year, guys. If we surpass this line, we surpass 200K. If we surpass that line, we surpass 300K. This midline, this dark gray line, is 500K. But even if we just go up to this line or in between the 100 and 200 or the 200 and 300k line is already a very beautiful target for bitcoin and yes we are very low if you look at the previous cycles we were the same area red and blue there red and blue there red and blue there we will now move up bam to these levels guys over there which will lead to a massive increase in the bitcoin price now if you like these charts give those charts a thumbs up already guys i hope you really enjoyed those charts guys yes short term again beautiful volatility to trade i will keep repeating it it's only for traders that need to check the short term charts if you want to trade be happy look at the five minute look at the 10 minute look at the 15 minutes even if you want to day trade like the second chart look at the second chart, whatever you want guys if you're not a trader but an investor, you look at the midterm and the long-term charts. And that is what most of you need to do. Because most of you don't have the time to trade daily. Most of you are just in this industry to multiply your capital and to protect your capital against inflation. And that's what we call an investor. So if you're an investor, don't freak out about the short-term volatility, but zoom out and look at that bigger picture of Bitcoin. Look at that beautiful place where we are now in the four-year cycle, just up front the beginning of a huge bull market run uh, in 2024 and and 2025 the full year i believe all the way uh, up to like september 2025 guys that is my target to see a bull market up in this cycle guys another beautiful white horse on the beach yes if you want to see some booty today i show you a booty there it is the booty the horse booty <laughs> beautiful isn't it in phuket everything is possible riding a horse in the morning, what more do you want? Talking about Bitcoin, blockchain, and life while I watch that amazing view, guys. Yes, I have a terrible life, a terrible. I think the light is a little bit strange now because I turned around, but that's my advice when you're an investor in Bitcoin. Just look at the long term, guys. Look at those charts that show you the direction in the long term. Every four year cycle, every four year, we have a new higher high and we have a new higher bear market low. And that is the thing that you need to understand zoom out every four year you will be higher and every four year we also will be higher lows so the bear market bottoms bottoms increasing the bull market tops also increasing that is the four-year cycle you need to believe in don't freak out about these daily changes you're not a trader you're an investor probably but if you want to become a trader then go join ddbambam.me as soon as possible because we will give you all the handles there educational guiding signals everything else to become a good trader and to multiply the capital a little bit quicker than normally guys just hodling bitcoin and stacking sets every day so that is ddbambam.me now that were the charts for the day um, i hope you enjoyed them if you did enjoy those charts again that beautiful horse passing by um, if you did enjoy the charts then please give those already a thumbs up 
thanks and let's jump into the next part. The inspirational quote for the day, guys. Um, the beautiful thing of learning is that no one can take it away from you. And that is why Nelson Mandela once said, education is probably the most powerful weapon to change the world. Because nobody can take that weapon from you. They need to kill you to be able to stop you of having knowledge. So that is also the reason why we started DidiBamBam.me. Because I want to provide that education that people need for the future. When it comes to Bitcoin, blockchain, life, mindset, traveling, digital nomads, all that stuff, decentralization of the world, people need to receive the right education in baby steps from the beginning, where it all started to where we are now and where we will develop into the future. And I think it's very important that we start with the young people. Why? The kids. Because that is how the banks got you into your banking system. Because when you were 10 or 9 or something like that, you received a piggy bank. And you were very proud because you could save your own money. And then you could use this car to buy your first chewing gum and all that stuff. That is how the banks got you into their system. Because they got you on a young age and you kept believing in them. Now, if you want to get the children into Bitcoin blockchain, we need to start now. We need to start, uh, I again, we need to start to educate those kids now. And that is why I'm building this platform, not only for adults, also for children. There will be even children books that you as an adult can read to your kids when they go to bed. Bedtime stories, the adventure of Didi Bam Bam. All kinds of cool stuff you're building there. And why? Because I understood now, after becoming 46 years old, <laughs> that education probably is the most powerful tool to change the world. People are educated, in my opinion, in the wrong way by the schools and the governments. We are trying to create a platform that goes exactly against that. It prepares children and adults for the future, not for the past. Memorizing books from the past will only educate you about the past. And why do you want to know all that stuff about the past if it doesn't reflect the future? We need to be prepared for the future that is going to come, a decentralized future. And that is why we need to provide people of education so that they can handle all the steps in that decentralized future. So yes, that is the life quote for today. And of course, a little bit of sales pitch for ddbambam.me as well. But that is what I really feel. I really feel that education is something that no one can take away from you. They can take your car, they can take your house, they can take your bank account, they can take your watch, they can take whatever it is that you love but they will never be able to take away your education. And that's the beautiful part also about Bitcoin. If you want to protect your Bitcoins in the most safe way, you just need to be memorizing 24 words or maybe 12 words. If you're able to memorize 12 or 24 words, you will always have access to your Bitcoins. You don't need a hardware wallet. You don't need a software wallet. You don't need any of that if you will be able to memorize 24 words, which is the safest pay. Now, 12 words could be doing fine as well, but you know, 12 words is way more easy to memorize than 24 words, I think, for most people. But that's also part of education, guys. That's training your brain. You need to be training your brain, but training your brain by preparing for the future is completely different than training your brain by preparing for the past. Because then you just turn into a monkey that's able to memorize books. Everyone can memorize books. Preparing for the future means thinking about different possibilities that will happen in the future and how to adapt to these possibilities by being flexible. It's all about flexibility is the new stability, guys. Yes, that was everything for today. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. It was maybe not as passionate as the one about Michael Saylor, but that one really triggered me. And this educational part also triggers me, but not as much as a shitcoiner pretending to be a Bitcoiner. And then, of course, at the end, turning back to that shitcoiner again. Now. Thank you for watching. I wish you an amazing day. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Leave a comment. What do you think about the news? What do you think about the charts? What do you think about the inspirational quote? Thanks for watching. And see you tomorrow again. Bam.